Hi, this is Peter Bergdahl at peterbergdahl.com and in the next eight and a half minutes or so I will show you how easy it is to edit your images in Adobe Camera Raw. And you will be amazed to see that it's actually easier to edit images in RAW format than it is to edit images in JPEG format. And this tutorial works for both Photoshop CS3 and CS4 as well as Photoshop Elements. Okay, so let's start editing the first image in Adobe Camera Raw then. And here's an image that's clearly overexposed as you can see in the clouds. But it will be quite easy to fix this in Adobe Camera Raw as you will see. And in the histogram up here you can also see it's overexposed because most of the data is pushed very much to the right side of the histogram. And it has almost no data at all here on the left side of the histogram. So, but let's go through all the controls in the panel one by one. First we have the white balance and you can set the white balance in two ways. Either by using the presets here, auto, daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten and so on. Or you can do it by using the manual sliders. So here we change the color temperature. You can clearly see it becomes very warm and here it becomes very cool. And the tint, it becomes very magenta here and very green here. So you can use these two sliders to set the color, temp the white balance also. But in this case, the camera did a very good job to set the white balance. I will just use the S shot preset. With the exposure slider you set the white point and you do this by setting the right tail of the image uh, date at the rightmost end of the histogram here. Basically this means that white becomes white in the picture. The image becomes washed out and you lose detail if the histogram is pushed too far right and white becomes grey if the histogram is pushed too far left. In this case it's pushed too far right and that's, you can clearly see that in the clouds that we lost a lot of details and it's very washed out. So you can set then the right side of the histogram at the far right end of, of, of the scale here. So it's pretty much accurate now but you can see now it's too far left, now it's too far right. So what you want to do is to set it exactly at the right most end of the histogram. And if you hold down the Alt key for Windows or the Option key for Mac it will help you quite a lot. Because if you start pushing the slide you can clearly see when you come too far right. See you're getting all these white uh, pixels or white areas, also red areas. Or if you go too far left you see nothing. So you should hold down the key and then just slide until you start seeing a few of these dots like this. Now I'm pretty okay here. We set the white point quite accurately. Uh, you, I don't need to use the recovery slider in this image but it's useful to, you, uh, to use. Uh, basically this control is very useful when you want to recover image details if the image is severely overexposed. I will come back to another image later on to show how to use this slider. And with the fill light it opens up and gives details in dark shadows. In this case I will just slightly increase the fill light. Just give a little bit of increase here. Next we come to the black slider and that works exactly opposite to the exposure slider and you set the black point. That simply means that the black becomes black and not grey. So I just need to shift the black point here until the data is or the histogram is to the leftmost edge here. And again I can hold down the Alt key for Windows or Option key for Mac when I do it. See now I'm too far left. Now it's pretty okay. I can see a few pixels with colors here but that's okay. You should usually have a few. It should not be uh, completely white. You should have uh, some pixels set to absolute zero. Next we come to the brightness slider and that only affects the mid-range of the histogram. But it does not change the white point or the black point. So you can see when I'm changing this it, it makes the image darker or brighter. But still the black still is become, is still black and the white is still white. 
even if I slide this uh, back and forth like this. So here you just set the general brightness of the image like this. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Next we come to contrast and there is no surprises here, it just changes the contrast. Uh, so I will just slightly increase the contrast here. And the clarity slider is a type of contrast enhancement that mostly affects the mid-tones. So I will just give the mid-tones a little bit of a boost like this. And then we have the vibrance slider. It's very similar to saturation but more subtle. And it also prevents skin tones to become too saturated. So I will just give just a slight increase in vibrance here. And then finally we have the saturation slider. Uh, here you can see it's almost black and white and here it's very very saturated. But in this case I will not change the saturation slider at all. So that's it. You can see how easy it is to actually edit even severely overexposed images using Camera Raw and to recover them. Um, I will stop this video now and then I will come back opening up a new image where I will show you how to use the recovery slider and the fill light slider more effectively. Okay so now I open up a new image here from inside, taken from inside the room and also there is pointing out towards an open area here out in the sun. So here you can see it's quite dark inside the building but this uh, out area outside here is extremely bright. So this poses a challenge when I want to set the white point. Because you see even if I push it all the way to the left here I will still have clipping. Uh, still have a lot of areas here that's still too bright, that still exceeds the rightmost end of the histogram. And also the image become extremely dark if I do it like this. So what I do here, I yeah, instead of pushing it all the way here, I just change it like this. And then I can use the recovery slider to recover some parts of, uh, of the image. Uh, and then I use the fill light to increase or give some more details in the shadows. And then I use the black point that is quite accurate. And then I can set the brightness slider. Brightness slider, set it like this. Contrast. Okay, give it a little bit of contrast and clarity. And then the vibrance, a little bit of color boost. And here you can see this is after and this is before. Before it's very blown up out here and also very dark inside the room. But after the adjustment it's quite, uh, even though it's still blown out out there because it's impossible to rescue this image completely, it's much more balanced than it was before. Before I end this video, I would like to say that it's perfectly okay to embed this uh, video in your website. You don't need to ask for any permission or anything like that. Just grab the embed code and put it on your website. And also please let me know what you think about the video by play, making a comment to it. Or why don't you just rate the video also. So thank you so much for listening.